Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande, would like to welcome you all on my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. Today's video is very interesting because it is related with the very common problem that we are seeing all around. That is the low hemoglobin. When hemoglobin is low and you are feeling too much tired, then there may be complaint of backache, then there may be uh, with tremendous weakness and the patient don't understand why I'm getting this particular weakness. So the main reason can be the anemia. So it is uh, very essential that whenever the patient complains about weakness, the first simple test that you can do in the pathological laboratory, that is hemogram. Hemogram and ESR, this is a very fundamental test that every weakness patient, whether it is a male or whether it is a female, they should do it test and find out whether there is a low RBC count or low hemoglobin count. Normal hemoglobin count is 12 to 14 gram per cent and RBC count is 4.5 to 5.5 lakhs per, I'm sorry, millions per cubic mm. Try to understand, millions, millions per cubic mm, okay? So myself is Professor Dr. Deshpande. I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology. And this is my, uh, I can say, uh, there is a different mail ID, Professor Deshpande at rate of gmail.com. That is more common that you can use that particular mail ID, okay? So let us move further to discuss about anemia. But here in this PPT, in this video, we are going to tackle about the different causes as well as the different uh, investigations that we can do and also the different modalities or different prescriptions that Ayurveda, what Ayurveda is prescribing for the condition of Pandu. Pandu is the name in the Ayurvedic text regarding the anemia. Personally, I feel that anemia is not at all a disease as such. This can be a symptom. Try to understand. And what is the necessary of a doctor or a patient to find out what is the original cause of this particular low hemoglobin or low RBC count? So I will start with the PowerPoint presentation. So it will be more uh, nice to look for. Okay. So these are the different causes. The first group is hemorrhage, uh, bleeding. Hemorrhage means bleeding. It may be directly you can understand where is the bleeding. So that is manifested. And some bleeding that easily cannot be uh, logically understand where it is coming from. So that is called as a occult hemorrhage or occult bleeding. Hemorrhage means bleeding. Okay. So what are the causes that is very clearly understood? Number one, hematemesis, vomiting of the blood because of the ulcer, gastric ulcer, for example. Then hemoptysis, that means sputum is containing the red thread, and that may be because of the tuberculosis. Then hematuria, there may be problem in the blood in the urine and that can be the cause because of the kidney problem, because of the stone. Then epistaxis, huh? that is bleeding from the nose and this is very common in the very hot and summer season because the capillary bleeding occurs in the hot season. Then in the ladies, excess through menstrual, uh, uh, what you can say, the red discharge that is menorrhagia. In the male, remember, in the male, bleeding pile is the most common. Then, malina. Malina, actually, it is not the manifested. It is, uh, but here I have mentioned the surgical injuries. Uh, that can create some type of the bleeding at some time, very rare occasion. But here also, malina is not really the manifested. It is called as occult bleeding. What is malina? What is malina? When you give the stool sample to the pathological laboratory because you find or you complain to the doctor, the doctor, I am getting a very black stool, black tarry stool. And that may be because of the RBCs in the stool. Do you understand? So that is called as a occult blood or it is also called as a malina. Malina is related with the stool. Okay. Then occult blood, it may be peptic ulcer. It may be the carcinoma of the stomach, so the drip by drip by drop by drop by drop, bleeding may coming into the intestine and coming out of the rectum. This is also possible. Then internal files, then ankylostomiasis. This is a typical worm infestation. Ruptured ectopic gestation. It is related to the pregnancy. So don't forget this cause. Then hemophilia. These are called as the blood discrest yards. Bleeding disorders. Uh, hemophilia as well as the idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, when the platelet count is less, when the clotting factors, we, in the blood we have the clotting factors, 
and when there is a deficiency of the clotting factor, these two things can happen, either hemophilia or the purpura. Okay, let us move further to understand the causes. To understand the cause is the basic treatment for anemia. Yes, not only prescribing capsule or cream, only prescribing roha so No, that is not correct. You must know the basic causes. That's why these videos are very interesting. Where I am discussing causes, investigations, and then the prescription. Okay. Deficient formation of RBCs, red blood cells, common in the pernicious anemia. Vitamin B12 deficiency. Intrinsic factor deficiency in the stomach. But in India, I will say iron deficient anemia is 90%. So most common anemia is, yes, iron deficiency anemia. But you have to rule out all other causes and then you stamp, yes, this is iron deficiency. And then you can prescribe, of course, or trim capsule is very good. For soft capsule, very good. Injection in ferron, very good. But after diagnosing this iron deficiency, okay, then associated with acute or chronic infection, this RBCs can break because of the toxic processes like septicemia, hmm? subacute bacterial endocarditis, heart problem, acute rheumatic carditis. When the, uh, the child has a rheumatic fever in the childhood from the age of 5 to 15, big joints are affected. And if the penicillin is not given, properly not treated, then that can give the problem with the heart. So arthritis can create a problem in the heart that is called as acute rheumatic carditis. Okay. Chronic infections, focal sepsis, renal diseases, tuberculosis, and carcinoma. These are the different causes which can uh, problem which can create the problem with erythropoiesis. What is erythropoiesis? Formation of the RBC. Okay. Then rare in aplastic anemia, bone marrow deficiency, leukemia, blood cancer, Hodgkin disease, scurvy, vitamin C deficiency, hemophilia, and malaria also. Now, infections, Clostridium vergi, malignant tertian malaria, poisoning by certain chemical substances. These are the probable causes for anemia. Now, when you take the report of the hemogram and the pathological lab, they uh, explain what is the morphological structure of the RBCs. This is very important to understand. You can diagnose the type of anemia or the cause of anemia by looking the morphology of RBC. Okay. So this is first is normocytic normochromy. RBCs are of normal color. Site means color. And Sorry, chromic means color and size means the total size of that RBC. So size is normal and color is also normal. Oh my God, still anemia? Then it can be acute hemorrhagic anemia, road accident, severe blood loss, okay? Hemolytic anemia. RBCs are breaking because of the sickle cell anemia. Hypoplastic and aplastic anemia, bone marrow problem, okay? Then macrocytic normochromy very interesting the size is big macro macro big and normochromy color is normal so that is because of the vitamin b12 deficiency folic acid deficiency sometimes in a plastic hemolytic anemia okay then macrocytic hypochromy size is big and red matter red content color is less less hypo hypochromy chromy means color Okay, in deficiency of vitamin B12, folic acid, and iron. I'm sorry, this is iron. This is N. Huh? I'm sorry, this is printing mistake. N. Then microcytic normochromic. The size is less, but the color is normal. That is because of the infections. And lastly, but not last but not least, is very important. This is the most important. Microcytic size is less. Hypochromic color is less. Most common anemia, that is iron deficiency anemia. You are treating with the capsule or treen, I know, for a soft tablet, okay? Ayurvedic, loha so. Okay, what investigations you should do? Hemogram. Hemoglobin percentage to know the severity of anemia. Normal, 12 to 14 gram percent. If it is below 10, mild anemia. If it is below 7, moderate anemia. If it is less than 5 gram per oh my god, danger. Admit, admit, admit. Because... If the hemoglobin is less than 5 gram per cent, at any time, cardiac arrest can happen. Yes. So be careful. If hemoglobin is less than 5 per cent, don't neglect it. First, get it admitted. Do all the investigations. 
rule out everything, then you can give the discharge. But below for you is not easy case. Remember my words. Then WBC, total and differential count, to know the possibility of infection. Yes, 4 to 11,000 per cubic mm. This is normal count of WBC. If total count is around 15,000 per cubic mm, mild infection. If it is more than 20,000 per cubic, moderate infection. If it is above 30,000 per cubic, oh, severe infection. So only because of seeing the number of WBC, you can get the idea of infection. PBS, peripheral blood smear, to know the morphological type of anemia. Just now I have said it, normocytic, normochromic, microcytic, hypochromic. This is morphology, okay? To know any evidence of leukemia or malaria. Urine routine, serum urea, serum creatinine to rule out the urinary tract infection, UTI. Tool for occult blood, just now I have explained, tari, black stool, immediately go to the lab. If it is continuous for two, three, four days, don't wait, don't wait, go to the lab. For ova and cyst, especially to rule out the hookworm infestation. Hookworm can cause anemia. There are four types, you know, thread worm, huh? tape worm, hookworm and roundworm. But the hookworm is the cause for anemia. Okay. Then breeding and diamond clotting time, BTCT, to rule out any breeding disorders. Bone marrow examination is needed very rarely. If the, if the common causes of anemia are not present, then you have to go again, 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 deeper, deeper, deeper. Okay. Okay. Treatment policy. Rule out the cause and treat accordingly. If it is five, treat it. Hookworm, treat it. Infection, treat it. Then only your uterine will work or ovaso will work. Otherwise not. Huh? Root cause should be treated. Bad habits should be avoided. Like fast food, alcohol, tobacco. Malnutrition leads to deficiencies in dome. Get rid of the cause and supplement with nutritious diet. With iron, also protein, also zinc. Huh? Hemolytic anemia or plastic anemia can be due to the chemical cause or side effects of the few medicines. Patient may need blood transfusions. Get rid of the cause and then treat the patient. Always support your treatment with proper diagnostic procedures, especially in case of anemia. Advise the patient to be regular as she or he may need to take the treatment for longer duration. This is very important. Treatment. Special note, always be focused on because even though with the proper treatment, there are falling causes which may hamper increase in the blood. Patient, is following your treatment. But again, after one month, he says, Oh, doctor, no result. Again, I am dropping my hemoglobin. Sometimes it is raised. Again, dropping down. Sometimes raised. Again, dropping down. Or oh, not at all increasing. Why? Why? You are giving the best treatment. Then why the hemoglobin is not raising? These are the causes. Number one, Patients do not take medicines regularly, either due to the financial problems or mere laziness. Okay. There can be blood loss. One side, the piles is bleeding and you are not treating the piles and only giving the organ. No use. Needs the proper attention. Huh? Malignancy of the liver or kidney. You must find out why the hemoglobin is not rising. Do the liver function test. Do the kidney function test. Okay. Lack of quality medicines. While prescribing, write down the brand. Sometimes some companies are not that much quality product. Okay. Other pathology, then more near iron deficiency. Improper digestion of iron tablets in the body. In general practice, iron deficiency anemia is the most common. Now, let us start with the treatment. Arugya Vardini, one tablet three times in a day. Navaya Sichuru, 500 milligrams three times in a day with Dadi Madi Gritha. Arugya Vardini, why, why? Because this is acting on liver. And Ayurveda says, liver is the most important organ in the body, like the biggest industry to control the different metabolic processes, carbohydrate metabolism, fat metabolism, protein metabolism, iron metabolism. Who is controlling? Liver. So, Rogaha Sarvevi Mandegno. Mandegno. So, Ayurveda is giving emphasis to give Arogya Vardhini to prevent huh, to uh, the recurrence of this uh, hemoglobin loss. Okay. Then Arogya Vardhini, Kasi Sabasma and Rakta Vardak from Ayurveda Shah. Okay. Kasi Sabasma is very specifically used in the children and in the old people. Kasi Sabasma is a little bit softer than the Loha Vasma. Try to understand. Okay. Next, Punar Navadi Gugulu, 
two tablets three times in a day and low half hour, four teaspoon is equal amount of water. Remember, whenever there is a hypoproteinemia and anemia, that because of the hypoproteinemia, there will be edema. So any patient with edema, it may be the renal cause, it may be the protein problem, and he is getting edema plus anemia, then Punarnova is the best medicine. Punarnova also gives the stimulation to the mucopurulent stem cells in the bone marrow. Punarnova, Nava means new, 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 new. Best erythropoiesis can take less when you are using Punarnova. Okay? Then Tapyaji Roho gives everything I have, I have written all. So Aumshamsha Kalpana is there. Okay? You have to see the patient and then select a proper prescription. Okay? Don't keep the blind pen. Okay? Tapyaji uh, Roho two tablets three times in a day. Himal Four of Sandhu Company, one tablet three times in a day. And Swarnama Kishkabasma, 100 milligram with sugar and ghee. Ghee is very important. Write down, write down, please write down. In each and every anemic patient, don't forget to anupan as a plain ghee or medicated ghee. And which is the best medicated ghee? Dadi Madi Ghrita. Please write down Dadi Madi Ghrita for each and every patient. Even for the hemophilia. Yes. Even for the idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, ITP. You use it. You use it. Dadi Madi Ghrita. You will get benefited. Okay. Kumari also is like Arogya Vajini. Don't the people who don't tolerate the strong Arogyavadini, if the patient is ready and having the menarche or in the puberty period and anemic condition, Kumari also is the best. Kumari is for the puberty ladies, young girls. Okay, so this is the specialty. How I'm sorry, I will go just back. Next, <laughs> very, very important. Lot of prescriptions Dr. Deshpande is giving a lot of prescriptions. But remember, there is also interesting app. Ayurveda Academy app of Professor Dr. Desh Pandey is available on Google Play Store. Google Play Store, Ayurveda Academy by Professor Dr. Desh Pandey. Please, please, please download, free download. And there are a lot of digital libraries which you can easily subscribe. Cheap, but very important. Very important. Ayurveda Academy mobile app is available on Google Play Store of Professor Dr. Deshpande. Please take it from me. There is ECG, there is Charaka, there is Ayurveda practice. So please, please at least download the app. See the content. There are a lot of free contents as well. And then please subscribe. Okay. That different digital libraries. I am making digital libraries. Okay. Anemia treatment, Chandra Praha. Yes. Whenever there is a problem in the adult ladies with the uterus, uh, with the urinary problem, with the diabetes, and there is anemia, then Chandra Prabha is the best. Suvarana Makshikwati, this is Hari Parashurama Aushadale. I must introduce these very great legendaries in the Ayurveda. I am from Pune, Maharashtra State, India. And we had a very, our guru, Vaidya Khadiwale Vaidya. I am sorry he is no more, but he has a fantastic pharmacy. Very genuine pharmacy, and the name is Hari Parshuram Aushadale in Pune. Okay, so Suvarna Makshik Adivati and Guraksha Jintavale, very special for anemia. Guraksha Jintavale. Then also, you can use the Manoy Mart of Charak Pharmacy. Then another prescription, Saptam Rukaloho. Again, then whenever there is an eye problem and you have the anemic condition. Lohina and Rakta Jeevan. This is Ayurveda Arkasha, Tata. I have chosen a diamonds from the different companies. Diamonds from the different companies, I am, I am giving you this my experienced formulations. Okay? So, Mandura Basma, again very soft and gentle for uh, children and old people, 100-500 milligrams three times in a day. You can drop this low basma or you can add this low basma, 100 milligrams three times in a day. Then, Pradarantaka low, very interesting. Pradara. What is Pradara? White discharge in the females. White discharge in the females. So, whenever you find the lady with the bleeding problems in the menstrual cycle, white discharge is there and anemia is there, don't forget to use this particular formulation, Pradarantaka low. Okay? Then, Nipalamandur and Lohasava. Different, so many prescriptions I am giving you, my dear friend. Then, Punarnavadi Mandur, Swarnamakshika Basma, Abhrad Basma, new thing, new thing. Huh? Whenever you find 
that there is bone marrow problem and bone marrow cells are little bit type of not functioning well. There is some association of the brain problem and anemic condition, lung problem, tuberculosis and anemic condition. Abhras basma is the best. And also Vanda basma. Vanda and Abhras are Ojo Vardha. Ojo. Immunity. Immunity. Ojo. So this formulation is for the chronic patient having a long-standing disease process like for example cancer, like for example tuberculosis, like for example HIV, you use this particular Abhrak Basma and Vandha Basma and also with Chavana Prash. I think I am explaining the different formulation with interesting explanation. Then this is Gola Bhattaras, Kamatudaras, Pravat, Basmavati and Lohasa. Can you tell me now? You can tell me. If you are a student of Ayurveda, if you are a teacher of Ayurveda, you tell me where you can use this prescription for anemia in which patient? Yes, this is simple. This is the prescription for bleeding piles with anemia patient. Bleeding piles with anemia patient use this particular formulation. Goravadharas, Kamdharas, Pravadishtivadi and Lohaso. Next, Navayat Mandu and Bilva Oh, great, 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 great. Bilva Vadeh. Bilva, Bilva, fruit. This is the only fruit. Listen from me, listen from me. Bilva. This is the only fruit, fruit which is used in Ayurveda in unripe product condition. Uh, you know that every fruit should be used when it is ripe. Am I right? But this is the only fruit which is used in immature or unripened form and our lehra jam is prepared and that is a fantastic medicine. Fantastic medicine. Fantastic. For the patient of anemia with grahani. Right now, grahani. Irritable bowel syndrome, enteritis, colitis, ulcerative colitis, and anemia. Never forget to use the Bilva Valeha and also Dhatriya Valeha. Of course, Navayat Mandu is there to take care of uh, loha or the iron or the protein. Okay? Then, Ayurveda says, Pathya and Apathya, do's and don'ts are also important. So, this patient should take the plenty of these vegetables, carrots, amala. Pomegranate, apple, Nasuni Sattva, Ragi Ragi, R A G I, English Ragi. You can search on the Google. Nasuni Sattva is available. Nasuni Sattva is super, but little bit cooling in nature. So, we in Maharashtra Pune, I give the Nasuni Sattva cheer, porridge, porridge in summer season in the children who are having the malnutrition and anemia. This is having a lot of calcium, this is having a lot of iron. Huh? And very cooling in nature. So, Pitta dominant Prakruti. Pitta dominant Prakruti, ladies. Pitta dominant Prakruti, children. Pitta dominant Prakruti, old person. Nasni Sattva Poresh. Don't forget, only exception when you prepare the porridge, there should not be diabetes. Yes, that is very clear. Pigs, dates, healthy mind for healthy body. I think this is applicable to each and every disease. Am I right? <laughs> there is stress man management. I'm sorry, there are some few printing mistakes. You kindly excuse Dr. this point. Yeah? He is doing all by one own. own. Uh, disease of Raktavara Slotas. You must see the causes of Dushti Lakshana. Uh, Chintanam Chati Chintana. Raktavara Slotas. If you find a slope, Chintanam Chati Chintana. The patient is thinking a lot and lot and lot. And that's why he is affected with the Raktavara Slotas of Dushti and giving the Pandu Vyasa. Don't, don't. When you are having low hemoglobin, no pitta prakopa ahara and vihara. What is that? Pitta prakopa. That means the person is having eating all the time spicy, pungent, sour, salty, very hot, very hot, penetrating. Hmm? All these food stuffs, pitta prakopa. So don't do it. Don't do it. No pickles, no fermented products like curd. Yes, I am telling you very correctly. Okay. So, and Vihar, what is that? Moving all time in the hot sun. Huh? Hot sun. Working near the furnaces. Working in the chemical factories. Huh? This is Vihar. Thinking all the time. Too much ambitious. Too much jealousy is with you. Too much anger. Hot tempered you are. This is Vihar. Huh? So, don't do that. Then, Rakta Dushtikar Ahara and Vihar. The most important is Virudh Ahara. Incompatible food. Yes, 
you know very well that fruits and milk is not allowed by Ayurveda to mix together. Be careful. Especially in the Maharashtra, we eat the banana and milk together, that is shikrana. All over India, we eat the desert like fruit salad. Once in a while, I don't mind. But if you are anemic for a longer duration and you are persistently eating this incompatible food, no use of medicine. No use of medicine. Okay? Hot, pungent, astringent, and spicy food should be avoided. Overstress, workload, workaholics, working with the fire, exposure to sun. Smoking alcohol, tobacco, sleepless night, and overindulgence in sex. So, my dear friends, this is all about anemia, causes, investigations, and Ayurvedic prescriptions. So, but this is an educational video. So, for CP Bimari, this is a disclaimer. Okay. But if you are suffering from any type of this disease, cerebral palsy, arthritis, MND, cancer, attention, deficit, hyperactive disorder, idiopathic, thrombocytopenic, purpura, or any chronic disease or autoimmune disease, we, Ayurveda Academy, has a team of expert doctors. Yes, you can only WhatsApp. Phone calls is not possible. Okay? So, I wish you all the best. But, please, like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. I wish you all the best. Take care, and bye-bye.